Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level. This is the Applied Practice Paper J. Here we're working on question 2, a um, measures of location and spread question. Data relating to the lifetime to the nearest hour of a random sample of 200 light bulbs from the production line of a manufacturer was summarised in a group frequency table. The midpoint of each class in the table was represented by X and the corresponding frequency of that class was F. The data was then coded using y equals x minus 755.0 divided by 2.5. As summarised below, the sum of fy equals minus 467 and the sum of fy squared equals 9,179. 9, Calculate estimates for the mean and the standard deviation of the lifetimes of these bulbs. OK, so what we're going to need to do first is we're going to work out y bar and then we'll work out x bar from there. So y bar, the mean of the y values, is equal to the sum of f times y divided by the sum of the frequencies. This is a standard formula that you need to know. We've taken, it says in the question here, 200 light bulbs. So that's our f sum of the frequencies value or at the n value. So divide that by 200, and the sum of Fy, we were given this here, is minus 467. So from this, we can work out the Y bar as minus 2.335, <clears throat> and then to work out X bar from there, the sum of the, the, the mean of the light bulbs, um, we can just plug this into the formula now. So Y bar which is equal to minus 2.335, is going to equal x bar. You can see what we're doing here. We're just using exactly the same formula, just with bars in there. Minus 755 over 2.5. Now, we're going to need to rearrange this to get x bar. So times by 2.5 and add on 755, and we're going to get x bar equals 749.1625. So we'll leave our final answer to three significant figures, 749. What's the units? Hours. Okay, so that's the mean part of this question done. Now let's look at doing the standard deviation. So just a reminder, the standard deviation formula is equal to the square root, the positive square root of the sum of Fy squared over the sum of F minus Y bar squared, minus the mean squared. So in this case here, sigma is going to equal the square root of, right, so let's pick out the numbers from our, what we're given, 9179 over 200 divided by, and we'd use answer button here because that should be in our calculator as answer, minus the mean squared. And in this case here, we're going to get the sigma for y being 6.3594. So this is the standard deviation for y. Now to work out the standard deviation for x, it's not quite as simple as bring it, substitute it into this formula. What we need to do for standard deviation, because the location of the data doesn't matter, all that matters is how spread out it is, we're going to effectively forget or intentionally ignore this minus 755 piece of data. What we're going to use is the sigma for y equals the sigma for x divided by 2.5. OK, so we're not going to relocate our data. All we're going to do is um, undo that, sh that effectively shrinking of the data that happened when we divided all of our data points by 2.5. So what we're going to do here then is uh, OX is going to equal the standard deviation for Y times by 2.5. So 6.3594 times by 2.5. And we're going to get 15... 0.8986, so round that to three significant figures, and we'll get 15.9.
So for each light bulb, the average amount of time that it's uh, lit for is 749 hours, with a standard deviation, an average spread of our data of 15.9 hours. Okay, that's nine marks for that question.